Hey, yo, Bella. Yeah, what's good? Oh shit, I forgot what the skip was. What up fellas, it's your boy Johnny, and I'm sure you've had people tell you that what you're doing is stupid, or that it's a waste of time, and yeah, you know, it hurts. And then you go around searching on YouTube for this kind of video. Truth is, you actually should care about what people think about you. But it's all about where you draw that line. If they give you constructive criticism, that's cool. But all these videos out there talk about really not giving a fuck. <laughs> look at me, fuck you, I don't give a fuck. First off, shut up, that's fucking rude. And second, you're a fucking fake because when homegirl over there ghosts you for being an asshole, you might be like, yeah, fuck her, she didn't deserve me anyways. And then you could end up like one of those incels. Basically one of those dudes that hates women and blames them for all of their problems, all of their insecurities, and I don't want you to be that dude. So don't worry, homie, your boy Johnny has got your back. This video is actually how to stop giving a fuck about what people think about you. So first off, I'm sure you have family, friends, and YouTubers like me tell you about what you should be doing and all that stuff because they care about you. And I do know what's best for you. But I don't know your story, man. That's the thing, man. Nobody is gonna know your story, not even your parents. Look, man, I'm actually one of those guys that actually does care a lot about money. Some people might think I'm a fucking asshole because of it or that I'm wrong, but I really don't give a fuck because they don't know what I've been through. See man, I've been broke as fuck. I've owed over 10k in credit card bills and having a negative balance while trying to pay rent in New York City. Yo, gee Johnny, that was a great idea. Yeah, that really wasn't the best idea, but a lot of you guys don't know this, I actually had to edit a few Richie Lee videos in order to make rent, in order to buy food to eat for that month. So big shout out to the homie Richie Lee. And ever since then, I have never ever wanted to feel like that again. But because of that, I get a lot of shit from my close friends. But what, is that gonna shift my whole entire mind? Mindset? Hell no. They probably don't know what it's like to be broke as fuck. Having to pay bills and making enough to eat. And that's exactly how you gotta think, man. We all grow up in different situations, some better than others. But you have your own life and nobody's gonna fully understand it. So it doesn't matter what opinions people have about you. Second is lift some fucking weights, man. What is wrong with you? Usually people that don't live or take their health and fitness seriously have a weaker mindset. When you start lifting weights, you have to either look like a dumbass lifting the weights incorrectly, you have to take progress pictures in front of everyone, wearing bro tanks instead of t-shirts and hoodies and that's really hard at first but it's honestly a really easy first step and we all go through it and that's going to help you stop caring about what people think about you at the gym and eventually that starts to translate elsewhere and you stop caring about what people think in general lifting weights or training in general is the foundation for building confidence and the reason is because you have to make all these little promises to yourself lifting dieting sleeping all that shit sucks I'd rather be eating Ben and Jerry's Cherry Garcia and playing smash but all this this training, this lifestyle, it builds discipline. And the more discipline you have, the more confident you are. And the more confident you are, the less you give a fuck. And last but not least is the most important step, the big mindset shift, and that is to understand that this is your own life, not theirs. You make your own decisions, man. And let's just say if it's your friends or your parents that say you shouldn't make this purchase or drop out, or you wanna approach that girl on the street, or you wanna start uploading YouTube videos, or make this type of career choice, but you're scared about what they are gonna think, even though they might be right. Here's what actually happens when you actually do what they say and give in. You literally gave all the power to them. They just made the decision for you bro they decided on you not finding the girl of your dreams they decided for you not to be a youtuber they decided your life is that how you want to live bro living in a constant fear of opinions that makes me uncomfortable see when you always try to please others you actually end up looking like a fake especially with women they should like you for who you are otherwise you're gonna end up being miserable look man if i did let people's opinions dictate my actions i would be a mechanical engineer a lawyer or a doctor i know big surprise but i wouldn't be making youtube videos a fly with johnny ty channel would not exist and i would regret this decision for the rest of my life i do this hand motion a lot i'm sure you guys feel the same with your career choices where you want to live what car you want to by and your mindset about money yo man all this makes up who you are and nobody should come even close to controlling that all right fellas i hope you found this video helpful follow me on instagram it is fly with johnny time right about to hit 10k kind of leave a comment down below if you guys like these type of videos i know i've always struggled with this type of stuff i was really shy I got picked on a lot, and I didn't really believe in myself, but until I made this mindset shift, everything changed. Well, actually, when I started lifting weights, that helped with the mindset. So start lifting weights, man. And until then, stay fly, stop giving a fuck. And I'm out, man. Peace.